Ireland is addicted to prisons, so says former Mountjoy Governor John Lonergan, and he joins us now this morning to discuss it. Um, good morning to you, John. John, you are saying that we should be looking at a cap on prison places. Morning, Kimberly. I, uh, yeah, I've been saying that for many years, and I'm not the first person by any means to say it. Um, almost 40 years ago, as some of your listeners will remember, the Whitaker Report or the Commission of Inquiry into the Prisons uh, at the time in 1964, um, the late Dr. Ken Whitaker chaired that particular commission, and that commission reported uh, and made the recommendation that the government at the time should look at capping prison numbers. And in those days, we had around uh, less than 2,000. Today, we have over 5,000. Uh, a daily average of people in prison and we are still uh, struggling with overcrowding and it continues and, and there's, uh, the only solution ever put forward is more prisons and that's quite obvious now that more prisons on their own so certainly just doesn't work. So I'm one of those who uh, would advocate that we must, li- we must look at alternatives. We have actually an obsession with prison. Uh, if you look at it, uh, the, the figures back this up, um, uh, with the latest figures we have is for 19, uh, 2022. Um, Seventy-four uh, percent of all people committed to prison serving a sentence uh, in that year uh, were serving twelve months or less, uh, and that, uh, that I suppose is just uh, the, the you know the proof of the pudding. If we're sending that many people, seventy-four percent of of, of sentence committals serving twelve months or less, in reality, Kira, that means nine months or less, uh, or less than that even, because with, with early timber release and overcrowding and all right, and, uh, and all can, can I go put that. some of the other arguments to you? And I know what you're saying about 12 months or less so you could argue oh maybe they don't need to be there at all but but that's if you believe that sentencing is appropriate we've had a huge furore in the country over the last I suppose couple of weeks about a fully suspended three year sentence for, for assault on somebody who, 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 who beat a woman unconscious in an unprovoked attack he wouldn't have served any time in prison yet a lot of people think he should have been in prison and, and, and should have been there for longer and in fact that's been sent to the DPP uh, to, to look at in terms of leniency so some people who were in there for 12 months Some people might think they should actually be in there for longer. And and the idea of capping places, John, if you can't cap crime, if you can't cap criminal activity, how can you actually cap prison places? Because if more crimes are being committed and also population is growing, how how would we be able to cap places? Because, you know, the, the places surely correspond to the amount of criminal activity going on in society. Um, you know, the, again, Kira, the proof is that other countries have done it. Uh, many of the Scandinavian and Nordic countries have done it for many, many years. And that is saying that certain crimes or certain sentences, uh, you know, one bad case or one bad example isn't good law. And I'm afraid that's what happens sometimes, and especially at the current time, uh, that one bad case, uh, uh, you know, raises awareness and a huge amount of anger and frustration sure. and, and negativity. But do you really believe it's only one bad case? You know, that we, we, we see people I'm, committing crimes out on bail all the time and... Mind. You know? No, I'm very clear. I think I think we need a debate first of all. Sure. The second thing I think we need we need to differentiate between violence against the person and all other criminality, and and that's one of the things we haven't done. On my time, people were inclined to get far larger sentences for for crimes against property sure. than they were against people. And my my thinking is very clear. When when and I don't differentiate by the way between any degree of violence or any particular violence. Violence against the person is just sure. And I think. John, I do think a lot of people would agree with you on that, that violence against a person yeah, is far more few people in prison, egregious. Uh, Kira, there's very few prison in pris- people in prison serving 12 months or less for violence against a person. That's the f- they're, they're the facts. And I think, uh, as well as, it's not just capping alone. Our, uh, as I said, even England, the, English, the last English government, the Conservative government going out of power, they were in the, in the process of considering and, and, and legislating for capping their numbers. So they're, they're failing as well in terms of providing accommodation. But it's not just capping numbers. There are alternatives. For instance, if a person is working uh, and he and he commits a, 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 a crime, why not make them pay the, the victim or pay society back by d- deducting a, pay, a part of their wages every week from them for maybe two or three years? They, in that way, they were contributing to the state or repaying uh, and, re, well, and well, compensating Well, that brings us uh, back victims. to the Cahill Crotty case again in that, in that the judge at the time said that if he was to c- give him a custodial sentence, it would surely affect his career within the army, that he was you know, he's doing as you're saying. And that is not 
reflected by society as, as no. what society wants to see happen. And and, 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 and I know you're talking but about the overcrowding and, and there, rehab and deterrence yeah. and all, but people want to see people, A, punished for heinous crimes, but they also want to see them taken off the streets to protect society, John. It, it's, um, and all I, I, I see, I, I think if you, if you link, uh, you know, all, all the debate, or uh, I'm not saying you're going to do that, but if the debate is going to be just around violence against a person and saying that that is the only crimes uh, that are committed in Ireland, there are thousands of crimes committed in Ireland, non-violent crimes, and a big proportion of them end up in prison. And, and my point is we have to differentiate between violence against a person. I personally have zero, zero tolerance against violence against a person. Uh, I don't care, no justification for it. Sure. And, and I, I do support those who say we don't tolerate violence against the person, but the, the prison numbers don't reflect that. Okay. And uh, as I said, 75% of committals uh, are serving 12 Look, months or less, and I'm certain that the vast, vast uh, numbers of John, those are not serving for violence against the person. I do. I, I think you're absolutely right in that we should have a debate on all of this, and I think it's a very interesting debate, and I, I suppose the question is, is whether we should be looking at a cap or whether we should be looking at more prisons, in fact. But I do appreciate you coming on and speaking to us about this this morning. That is for Former Mountjoy Governor there, John Lonergan. Let us know what you think.